I think we're making progress. If you tilt your head a little bit, <laughs> it actually looks like a coffee table. Hi, Mum Joyce. This looks less like a coffee table and more like a coffin. Hi, <laughs> Suba. Well, at least you are a GEPF member. Yeah, I am. So, if anything happens to you, your family will get the funeral benefit so that they can buy you a coffin that looks much nicer than this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny you should say that, you know. A lot of GEPF members have challenges understanding how to claim for funeral benefits. Since I'm married, would my wife have to claim? What about those not married? Let me help you understand. The GEPF funeral benefit helps you pay funeral costs when a member or a pensioner dies. The benefits are also paid on the death of the spouse, life partner, or eligible child of a member or pensioner. Really? How much can one claim? The payment of 15,000 rent for the funeral of a member or pensioner or their spouse. Great stuff. And 6,000 rent for the funeral of an eligible child of a member or pensioner. Wow, Man Joyce. But who can claim? Well, there's a long list. A member, a pensioner, the spouse of a member or pensioner. And if the spouse is no longer alive? Then an adult child and even the guardian of a minor child uh -huh. of a member or pensioner can claim. And if none of those family members are able to claim? Well, the parent or parent-in-law, oh. a brother, sister, brother-in-law, or sister-in-law of a member or pensioner. Really? Or the executor of the estate of the deceased or any other member of the family appointed through an affidavit by the family of a member or pensioner can claim the benefit. So my in-laws could claim too if necessary? I better make sure I'm nice to my wife's sister so that she chooses a nice coffin for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, merit or unmerit, your loved ones will be able to take advantage of the benefits that are due to you. Whoever is at the top of the preference list will need to complete the forms, submit the supporting documents, and let the GEPF do the rest. But remember, only one person can claim. There are so many different forms. Some of them have names that sound like fancy cars. <laughs> Which ones would my family need to submit? <laughs> Aye. To claim the funeral benefit, you need to complete the application for funeral benefits form Z300. The money can be deposited either into your bank account or the post office account. If you prefer to use a bank account, you also need to complete an ACB Bank Particulars Form Z894. And where do I send the forms when I have completed them? The documents can be faxed or emailed to GEPF. Or you can visit one of the GEPF offices to hand in the documents. Remember, alongside the forms, you need to also submit supporting documents. Really? What supporting documents? Very easy. A certified copy of the ID or valid passport of the applicant uh -huh. and the person who died, a certified copy of the certificate, proof of marriage where required, and if you are texting or emailing the documents, include bank statements. That's possible. But what if a child has died? Are the documents the same? If it's a child that has died, you will need to submit a certified copy of birth certificate, medical proof of disability, if the child was over 18 and disabled, proof of student registration, if the child was over 18 and a full-time student mm. at a recognized institution, medical proof from the hospital or doctor, if the child died as a result of miscarriage after 26 weeks or more of pregnancy. If the person claiming is an adult child, they must provide proof of relationship with the person who died. Also, if the payment must be made via the post office, all the original documents must be presented to the post office. Hmm. Wow, Mum Joyce, you really know your stuff. I hope the forms are not complicated to understand. Can an old toppy like me complete all the information they need? It is actually very easy. The Z300 form just needs the personal 
particulars of the member or pensioner, the particulars of the applicant, the contact particulars of the applicant, the particulars of the deceased, as well as a signature or thumbprint of the applicant to certify the information as true and correct. The form even has all the information on who may claim. Oh. Documents to include in the submission as well as the contact details of the GEPF. Really? They have made sure to equip you with all the information. The Z894 form is for your banking details and will also require an official signature and stamp from your bank. Well, hopefully my family won't need the benefit anytime soon. Hmm... You know what? It does sort of look like a coffee table from this angle. Hi, Suga. Don't be lazy. You need to dismantle it and start again. I will give you moral support while I catch up on some social media. Hi, <laughs> Mom Joyce. <laughs>